Good morning. Welcome to St. Dominic Church. Thank you for joining our live stream mass at nine o'clock. We will have Spanish mass following this one at 945. Please share this link with anyone who would like to join our mass. Thank you.
you have a song, a hymn? I do. Oh, oh, this is the same one you yeah. have. start with hymn number 
nearer death and sin. Hark the angel choirs raise, songs of everlasting praise. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. He who gave for us his life, who for us endured the strife, is our paschal lamb today we to sing for joy and say alleluia 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 in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. I'd like to read the intention for this Holy Mass. It's for Anthony Mangliekmat, Mangliekmat, and family. Our prayers are also asked for the repose of the soul of Adelaida Domante, who died recently and is the sister-in-law of one of our parishioners, Adelaida, rest in peace. Um, Margarita, a uh, friend of one of our wedding coordinators up in Santa Barbara who was on respirators. And Father Jew, dear Father Jew, to right now he's having his operation. Um, it's either begun or it's a, about to begin uh, at Good Samaritan Hospital. So thank you for your prayers. So as we enter now into the Easter mysteries of God's great love, immeasurable love, unfathomable love, come down to us in his Son, Jesus Christ. Let us offer to God our sorrow for our sins and renewal of our um, devotion to him. As we say, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in, in ever an unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, let them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin and full sentence, 
senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back and reported. We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what would come to, that what this would come to. When someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. When the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord, and lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glory the, glorify the Lord with me. Let us together exalt his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one call out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according <coughs> to John. Glory to you, Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but have e eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God, and this is the verdict, that he came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light, and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Holy Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so when you say to someone, maybe a relative, maybe to your mother before she died, or your father, the, the last time you saw him, um, I love you, uh, or they had said, I love you. We battle with uh, our disbelief, our personal, um, uh, sometimes re resentments, and, um, and 
uh, on the other hand, healing. And the other hand, um, uh, where, there's, where there's healing, there is a deep sincerity and uh, a heart that is willing to give more and yearning to give more. Um, when somebody tells us, uh, I love you, I love you, mean it. <laughs> um, uh, we don't take it uh, in usually because we wonder, well, what do they want? Or what are they trying to get out of it? Uh, why is that? Because our hearts have been abused many times or uh, hurt. Uh, betrayed, uh, taken advantage of. Um, it's easier for us to believe the lie of Satan that, um, that God condemns the world. Um, it's easier for us to hear uh, an image of God that is in dire need of being uh, healed and transformed and uh, turned from something dark and something dire into something light. So here comes this teaching, and it builds on yesterday's teaching that you must be reborn from above. Uh, something must be received by us, and what we are presented is something so big. It's bigger than our resistances, our uh, you know, Lord, how could you love me? Uh, there's something wrong with me. I don't love myself. Uh, uh, my, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not up to the standards that people and even myself put upon myself. And God says, you know, forget about what people think and what you think. Just receive this gift. Receive it. But I don't have any place to put it. Well, it will make room, you know, it will make room as it grows in your heart. And your priorities will adjust to see that I have come to, um, um, you know, not to condemn you, um, um, but to believe, you know, to believe in the only begotten Son, the gift I gave you. So as we continue this, the looking into the Easter mystery and reading St. John, hearing St. John in this chapter, chapter 3, Nicodemus and Jesus in a dialogue at night. Um, it was still dark when they went to the tomb that first day. Nicodemus, for fear of the other Pharisees, he went at night but he, was, he secretly wanted to be a disciple of Jesus. And Jesus will bring us into the light, the light of uh, seeing things clearly, seeing things as God sees them. You know, I have made you. I have filled you with life. I have imbued my spirit in every molecule, in every uh, tiny part of you, and anything that, everything that is invisible within you, you know, and, and visible, I have filled with, uh, with infinite, infinite love. Every living being, every, uh, uh, every um, stone, every uh, raindrop, uh, everything is filled with my love and it will come back to me. And you who are little less than angels, you know, I will uh, bear you uh, in my love uh, into, this, into the truth, the truth which is freeing, and the truth which raises us up. So let us stand and let us pray. Let us pray, uh, well, first of all, for Father Jude, dear Father Jude, who is uh, being operated on this morning. They're going to put a valve into his uh, uh, aorta, I think it is, and uh, they're going to open it up, and we're hoping that everything goes smoothly that there won't be any surprises in there, and uh, that everything will um, uh, give him so much more uh, oxygen in his, uh, in his uh, blood and energy. So we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the intention <coughs> for this Holy Mass, for Anthony Manglikmat 
and family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Because our, pr our prayers have been asked for the repose of the soul of Eda Adelaida Domante, for her the repose of her soul, that she may be finally in peace with the Lord and in heaven, and for uh, her family, uh, who is heartbroken at her death and uh, passing. So we pray for uh, her healing and light and for her family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for uh, the wedding coordinator, Susanna, and her friend, Margarita. Margarita is uh, her dear childhood friend and has been on ventilators in Santa Barbara. So we pray for Margarita. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for uh, all of those suffering from the coronavirus, for uh, all around the world that we may be able to um, be patient as the uh, and and uh, stay away from passing the uh, this virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And that our government uh, and all who are responsible for uh, governing our countries, um, every country in the world, every nation uh, may uh, be able to guide us through this crisis. Uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And our church, that the church may have the courage of uh, St. Peter <clears throat> and his uh, companions as they uh, were imprisoned and then freed and preached uh, in, the, in the temple area about the risen Lord and his love. Uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for all our silent prayers, which we now mention to God in, in our hearts, where God can hear us so clearly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you speak to us in a language of love that is salvation and resurrection. May we share the glory that has its source in you, that we may know you through your spirit, and praise God our Father forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It'll become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Humble spirit and contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord. My eternal Father, wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, beloved sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice make, uh, have made us partakers of this one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For, um, it was, but especially in this time, when you have generously um, and laud you yet more gloriously where Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb 
who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every nation exalts in your praise, and, ev and even the heavenly powers with the angelic Host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Dying, you, you destroyed, destroyed our, our death. death. Rising, Rising, you restored our life. Lord, Lord Jesus, come in glory. glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Peter, John, James, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. 
peace of Christ be with you. Peace, 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 peace everybody at home. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. We now pray the uh, act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways of life to the newness of your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The peace and blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.